Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little review on La Labo, one of my personal favorite perfume brands. My husband and I both love and share because their products are all unisex. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have quite a few products that we've collected and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the brand before going into my review on each of their products. They started in New York and they have their own stores as well as they are sold in department stores such as Barney's or Saks. They have perfumes, lotions, candles, even lip balm I think. They have a bunch of products. Their products are definitely on the pricier side. However, they are very potent so you use a lot less therefore it'll last you much longer. So I personally love this brand because it's a full ex shopper's experience. When you go into the, their stores, you can have them actually make the perfume for you in person, which is such a fun experience. As you can personalize the labels, which is the super fun touch. It just it makes it that much more special. For example, this one, my husband gave it to me on our wedding day, and so it has our wedding date on it, and it says, for my beautiful bride. So I'll just give you guys a little close-up of that. If it looks like there's some condensation on the bottle, you are seeing that correctly because we actually store our perfume in the fridge. That is just what they recommend. It is made fresh so they don't put any preservatives in their products, which I like because I know that, you know, it's going on my skin, so I don't want all those nasties on my skin. The first scent, and I think the most popular scent that a lot of people know about, is Santel 33. So this is the 100 milliliter bottle, and I believe that all of their scents are the same price. So for the 100 milliliter bottle, it is 280 USD, and for half the size, 50 mils, you would pay 192 USD. We also have the matching body lotion in Santel 33 as well. You know, pairing these together, you are gonna get a much longer lasting scent. I mean, they even have the body wash, so you could go real crazy. Oh, it smells so good, it's actually very addicting to smell. So Santel 33 has a leathery and musky smell to it. But at the same time, I do think there is a little bit of freshness to the scent as well. It's not like totally just like leather and musk. On their website, it says that it is sandalwood and cedarwood blend with spicy, leathery, musky notes. Love it um, for any time of year. Their body lotion is enriched with vitamin E, shea butter, white tea extract, olive leaf extract. It has no parabens and it's just a really good quality cream. This retails at $70 and it is 237 milliliters. So I really like to pair the two when I am going out. I normally don't put the body lotion obviously all over, I'll just do it on the chest and maybe the inner parts of my arms, wherever I would spray the perfume just to give it that little bit of extra long lasting scent. But like I said, their perfumes are made pretty potently and there's no preservatives in them, so they're gonna be very strong and long lasting. If you know the brand, then you probably know Santel 33 because it is a very popular one, but I definitely think it's well worth the $280 price tag if you do go for the 100 milliliter bottle. He's had this since um, November of 2019 and still has quite a bit to go, so it will last you. All right, so on to the second fragrance. It is one of my personal favorites. It has powdery notes to it. It is definitely a floral scent along with the matching cream. Now, I love the cream, like I use it pretty often. I just, especially on days where I don't really feel like putting perfume on because I'm just like not going anywhere, but this has a good enough like strong enough scent in my opinion that will last throughout the day and just make me feel like I'm wearing a little something something without it being too strong. And I absolutely love this cream. Like I said, I think, you know, if you don't want to spend $280 on the perfume, because I know it's kind of expensive, 
$70 cream is definitely not cheap, but definitely worth it because a little goes a long way. It's a nice thin consistency and I'll put some of it on for you guys to see. All right, so it's a nice milky consistency, very hydrating, no parabens, beautiful smell. So Liss on the website, it says that it's white floral, jasmine, lily, has a bit of woods and musk and vanilla. And that really describes it pretty well. I also think it has like some powdery notes for sure. I am into more powdery scents because I do have Cartier um, Boile something, I don't know. I'll probably have to put it in the screen because I don't remember the name of it. And this I feel like just is such a huge step up from that scent. I don't know that my husband would wear this one um, just because it is more floral and powdery, but a very beautiful scent that I can wear every day and I won't get tired of. Um, a little bit goes a long way. Like I said, you only need like one spray of this stuff. It's definitely strong. So don't overwhelm yourself when you get a scent because you might end up not liking it if it's too strong and just, like up your nose all day long. So just start with one spray because I think one spray is probably enough. So for the third scent that we own is Bergamot. And this one is Bergamot 22. This is the one that he's had two of because what they did was they used the same bottle and they made it in store and they just put a new label over top of it for him which is amazing because, you know, no waste. We also have that in the cream. Bergamot is a very beautiful scent. It is so different than anything else my husband's ever worn, which I love that about it because it's so fresh and vibrant, but still has, you know, that nice, sexy smell to it. Um, it has some sweetness to it as well. Um, definitely lots of grapefruit. I'm also getting some musk in here too. It is so fresh. Bergamot is amazing. I think honestly it might be my favorite scent out of all three um, just because of its freshness and I highly recommend that you give it a try. So for the final product that we have, the Santel 26 candle. So for the home scents and the, the candles, it's called Santel 26, not Santel 33. And now I guess it's just because Santel 33 is more potent. I don't know the exact reasoning behind the numbers and what they represent. Their candles are soy-based wax with an all-natural cotton wick. Um, we've yet to light this one. I don't know, I think we're just like afraid to light it because it's just so beautiful, <laughs> but. It smells so, so nice. They're hand poured. Don't burn longer than two hours. And if black smoke appears, then trim the wick. We love this scent because it just it smells so good. I think I might actually want to get the spray for the room, but um, I'm totally going to go ahead and get the Laundress Le Labo collaboration so I can wash my sheets with this scent. Like, I mean, if you know the brand, you definitely know this scent. So this scent is definitely like on the more manly side because of the leather notes, but I totally love that in my home. And this almost smells a little bit more warm than the perfume. So I do recommend this as a nice candle. However, <laughs> we have yet to light it. Um, we should test it out and see like how long it lasts, but I'm sure it'll last long because it is made with a lot of essential oils. So. It'll burn much slower. Um, I have tested out the Rose, I believe 31. It is a floral scent, obviously. However, there is some muskiness to it, making it, again, unisex. Love that scent as well. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you are looking into buying a Labo, if you have any questions, or you know, if you just wanted a review video on some of my personal faves, then you know. 
Suntel 33, List 41, Bergamot 22. Those are my top three Lalabo scents and I'm sure that we'll end up getting more in the future because we're just a big fan of this brand. They just know what they're doing. The whole customer experience is amazing. I can, you know, go out for the full day and still come home smelling amazing. So it's definitely worth the price tag. Let me know your favorite Lalabo scent and which one we should try next. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world and I will see you in my next video. Bye.